Betelgeuse's puzzling dimming event. Betelgeuse, a star of colossal proportions, experienced an unexpected mood swing recently, puzzling astronomers. If placed at the center of our solar system, Betelgeuse's outer surface would extend all the way to Jupiter. For eons, it had been faithfully carrying out its nuclear fusion processes until October 2019, when something peculiar occurred. Betelgeuse began to dim. Astronomers were left scratching their heads, pondering whether this was merely a temporary stellar slump or if there was a deeper cause behind the dimming drama. Fast forward to mid-February 2020, and Betelgeuse's brightness had plummeted by over threefold. Thanks to the keen eye of the Hubble Space Telescope, some answers began to emerge. The dimming, it turns out, was triggered by a colossal dust cloud formed from hot material ejected into space by Betelgeuse. This superheated plasma created a swirling dust cloud, effectively playing a game of cosmic hide-and-seek with its starlight. But how did Hubble uncover this celestial spectacle? It all came down to the telescope's sensitivity to ultraviolet light. Since January 2019, Hubble had been monitoring Betelgeuse, capturing stellar snapshots. Its ultraviolet observations in September, October and November 2019 unveiled dense, heated material in motion above Betelgeuse's surface. This material, propelled outward, eventually formed the enigmatic dust cloud. Lead researcher Andrea Dupree elaborated that they could observe the effects of a dense, hot region in Betelgeuse's southeast quadrant, which subsequently led to dimming in its southern hemisphere about a month later. The team posits that this dust cloud causing the dimming was a direct consequence of the outflow detected by Hubble. As for why Betelgeuse expelled this stardust, it remains a mystery. Dupree suggests it may have been influenced by Betelgeuse's pulsation cycle. Furthermore, Hubble's observations revealed that Betelgeuse's pulsation cycle continued as usual during this dimming event. Using the Stellar Activity Telescope, astronomers measured fluctuations in gas velocity on Betelgeuse's surface, indicating that these pulsations likely facilitated the outflow of plasma through the star's atmosphere. Adding to the intrigue, some astronomers speculate that this abrupt dimming could herald Betelgeuse's demise. The red supergiant is on track to culminate its existence in a breathtaking supernova explosion. And this dimming event might just be the opening act. Situated approximately 725 light years away, Betelgeuse's dimming event occurred around the year 1300, its light only reaching us now. Andrea Dupree and her team are preparing for another encounter with Betelgeuse using the Hubble Space Telescope in late August or early September. Betelgeuse's unexpected spin. It's widely acknowledged that stars, including Betelgeuse, rotate. However, recent revelations indicate that Betelgeuse is spinning much faster than anticipated by scientists. This departure from expectations is significant because as stars like Betelgeuse evolve, they are expected to gradually slow down their rotation. According to current theories, red giants like Betelgeuse typically rotate at speeds of about one kilometer in excess. However, as they transition into red supergiants, such as Betelgeuse, their rotation is expected to decrease to less than 0.1 quinetes. Recent observations, however, have unveiled a surprising trend. Not just Betelgeuse, but many other giant stars are spinning at rates faster than predicted. Betelgeuse's rotational velocity was measured using ALMA, revealing a staggering speed of approximately 5.47 km per second, far surpassing expectations for a red supergiant. However, there's a possibility that the observed rotation of Betelgeuse could be inaccurate, with signals potentially originating from its turbulent surface rather than its actual rotation. To delve deeper into this mystery, scientists have ventured into the realm of 3D radiation hydrodynamic simulations. By creating computer models mimicking red supergiants like Betelgeuse, researchers aim to understand its behavior better. Yet, to definitively ascertain Betelgeuse's and other red supergiants' rapid rotation, advancements in technology are imperative. Moreover, Betelgeuse, being a fast-moving red supergiant with a stellar wind, creates a bow shock, a cosmic wave, as it interacts with surrounding space. However, astronomers have made a perplexing discovery. A dense and nearly static shell exists three times closer to Betelgeuse than the bow shock. This shell's unusual characteristics challenge conventional explanations, prompting researchers to propose alternative models. One such model involves Betelgeuse's wind undergoing a transformation through photoionization induced by external sources bombarding it with radiation. 
This process creates a photoionized wind, offering a potential explanation for the enigmatic static shell. In essence, Betelgeuse's unexpected spin and the peculiarities of its surrounding structures continue to intrigue astronomers, underscoring the complexities of stellar evolution and the need for innovative approaches to unraveling cosmic mysteries. Power of photoionized winds. What makes the phenomenon of photoionized winds so remarkable is the hidden pressure it wields, capable of creating a stationary shock within the neutral part of the wind, giving rise to the nearly motionless shell. But let's not limit our wonder to Betelgeuse alone. While Betelgeuse may be basking in the limelight, its fellow red supergiants likely boast even more substantial shells. During the red supergiant phase, stars such as Betelgeuse shed their outer layers, with the photoionization confined shell assuming the role of the ultimate cosmic collector, preserving the lost mass until the star's cataclysmic demise. As the star transitions into a supernova, these massive shells take center stage in the ensuing cosmic spectacle. Trapped gas within the photoionization confined shell significantly shapes the supernova's light curve, providing a natural explanation for supernova exhibiting signs of circumstellar interaction. Thus, the enigmatic phenomenon of photoionized winds offers a profound insight into the intricate workings of stellar evolution and the mesmerizing drama of cosmic phenomena. Cosmic countdown or distant dream? As anticipation mounts for Betelgeuse's celestial fireworks display, conflicting opinions among experts leave us pondering the star's imminent fate. While many advise against holding our breath, a determined team of astronomers led by Hideyuki Sayo from Tohoku University presents a tantalizing theory. Betelgeuse might be nearing its grand finale sooner than expected. Their study suggests that deep within Betelgeuse, helium fusion into carbon is underway, a process spanning thousands of years before the star exhausts its carbon reserves. However, Sayo and his team propose a novel perspective. They argue that Betelgeuse's pulsations, characterized by rhythmic cycles lasting about 420 days, hint at an even longer undulation period of approximately 2,200 days, a slow heartbeat as described by fellow astronomers. This extended cycle, if validated, implies that Betelgeuse could be significantly larger than previously estimated, nearing 1 to 300 to 1 400 times the size of our Sun. Such colossal proportions suggest that Betelgeuse might be in the twilight of its carbon burning phase, setting the stage for a cosmic spectacle in the coming decades. However, skepticism arises from Harvard's Andrea Dupree and a group led by Low Mola, who challenge Sayo's assertions. They contend that observational data across various wavelengths indicates Betelgeuse's size to be capped at around 1,100 times the size of our Sun, insufficient to support the proposed extended pulsation cycle. So, where does the truth lie? Are we on the brink of witnessing a cosmic extravaganza, or is Betelgeuse merely toying with our expectations? Regardless of the outcome, Betelgeuse's impending fate reminds us of the profound insights awaiting discovery in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Cosmic dangers and Betelgeuse's mysteries unveiled. Could Betelgeuse pose a threat to Earth? While the prospect of a nearby supernova is disconcerting, Betelgeuse's distance offers reassurance. Yet the night sky holds countless mysteries, urging us to remain vigilant. Supernovae, with their staggering luminosity rivaling entire galaxies, spell potential peril if too close. The last galactic supernova observed was in 1604, a distant memory compared to the eruption witnessed in the Large Magellanic Cloud in 1987, a safe 169,000 light years away. My rough estimate places the danger zone around a typical supernova at approximately 100 light years, though I defer to astrophysicists for precise calculations. Thankfully, potential troublemakers like Eta Carinae and Rho Cassiopeia reside safely beyond our cosmic danger bubble, thousands of light years away. However, Betelgeuse remains a tantalizing anomaly. Should it go supernova, we would witness a spectacular cosmic event, altering the iconic constellation Orion forever. Using the VLT NACO instrument, astronomers observed Betelgeuse in the near-infrared spectrum, uncovering an asymmetric envelope with a bright plume extending southwestward. This plume, reaching six times the star's photospheric radius, hints at convective hotspots or the star's rotation. Moreover, the study identified a chromospheric hotspot, underscoring Betelgeuse's dynamic nature. Further analysis of the star's spectral energy distribution unveiled intriguing features, 
including a strong absorption band around 1.1 to 1.3 microns, potentially attributed to CN molecules, cyanide, found in the star's outer layers. This discovery hints at the presence of water and dust in Betelgeuse's vicinity, showcasing the multispectral richness of its light. Water and dust in cosmic proximity. The tantalizing possibility of water and dust in Betelgeuse's cosmic neighborhood adds a captivating dimension to our understanding of this massive star. Water, a fundamental ingredient for life on Earth, may lurk amidst the cosmic expanse surrounding Betelgeuse. While dust, seemingly mundane, plays a pivotal role in shaping the stellar environment. A scientific article delving into the surface imaging of Betelgeuse in the H-band offered further revelations. Leveraging interferometric observations from the IOTA instrument, the authors unveiled two conspicuous bright spots adorning Betelgeuse's surface. The nature of these bright features invites speculation. Are they convective cells orchestrating circular material movements, or are they hotspots? regions radiating heat more intensely than their surroundings. In their pursuit of unraveling Betelgeuse's mysteries, the authors delved deeper, measuring crucial parameters such as the limb-darkened diameter and effective temperature of the star. The limb-darkened diameter reflects the apparent size of the star when viewed from a distance, while the effective temperature provides insights into its thermal state. Such measurements offer valuable insights into Betelgeuse's character within the vast cosmic tapestry, Furthermore, the authors noted the presence of a fully resolved environment around Betelgeuse, potentially attributed to scattered light from a dust shell. To interpret these observations, various models were employed, including parametric limb darkening models, Mark's models of the photosphere, and radiative transfer models of the dust shell. Radiative transfer modeling in particular is instrumental in comprehending how light interacts with the medium through which it passes, be it the atmosphere of a planet or the environs of a star. These models serve as diverse lenses, facilitating a nuanced understanding of Betelgeuse's dynamics, shedding light on its life cycle, the elements it synthesizes, and its cosmic influence.